the thing that attracted me to Denmark back in 2011 was the fact that there was a good opportunity for me to use the skills that I had. And then the thing that attracted me to Copenhagen more particularly was the concentration of investment and expertise from big companies and other places in biotech around Copenhagen in the Medicon Valley area. My name is Alistair Edwards. I'm a PhD in medicine and a specialist in mass spectrometry. So this is me standing outside the company headquarters in Copenhagen. And for me, this is a confirmation of making a good decision early on. I think coming to Copenhagen, being able to get a job at an innovative, small biotech pharma company in the Medicom Valley area, surrounded by so much energy around biotech and pharma. This is kind of a confirmation of that for me. Medicon Valley is just a descriptive term for the area around Copenhagen where there's a concentration of lots of life science, biotech, pharma industries all working together and collaborating. When I first came here from Sydney I noticed that the lifestyle was quite different. There was a much stronger focus on getting a balance between you know, the work side of your life and the home side of your life with I think the goal of having an overall more effective and happy worker at the end of the day which of course you get from being able to put time into the stuff that you do outside of work. In my free time I help out small companies to just try and execute some cool idea they've got or some good concept they've been able to come up with. They just need a little bit of support from a scientific rigor point of view. This is one of my favorite moments in Denmark so far. For me, this picture represents the next stage in my life. We're starting a family in Copenhagen, and that's going to be an exciting thing, and there's a whole bunch of new challenges associated with that. In Denmark, you get a very good leave scheme after you have a child. I think you get something like a year, which you can split as you like between the mother and the father. So the intention for us would be to roughly split it half-half. As a father particularly, you, you miss out on a lot of stuff early on if you're not involved on a day-to-day -day basis with a new child. And you have that opportunity here and it's just, it's really, really good.